State police are cracking down on drugged drivers. We first alerted you about this last night on Action News at 11. Right away, a whole lot of you started asking questions. You want to know what happens if you use prescription drugs and then you get stopped and tested? Well, 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live with some of the answers you're asking. Jennifer? Yeah, well, first off, many of you wanted to know, is this drug testing going to be random? No, it's not. But if you're seen swerving in the road, if you blow through a stop sign or break any other traffic law, you could be pulled over. And if you are, you could be asked to submit to not only a breathalyzer, but also a cheek swab aimed at detecting a wide variety of controlled substances. Yes, I say crack down. Yes, I want to be safe too. Deborah Ritz applauds the MSP's efforts, but she says she's worried. I use medibles, I use lotions, I use oils. Ritz has a medical marijuana license, which allows her to legally use a drug that stays in her system long after the effects have worn off. There's no real way when they swab you to tell when is your last encounter with marijuana. So, I mean, that's a real danger for people like me. Ritz lives in Washtenaw, one of the five counties chosen for the MSP oral drug test pilot program based upon the number of past impaired driver crashes and arrests. MSP says drivers like Ritz would only be drug tested if there were other signs of impairment. If you're drunk, you smell like booze, you got blood, watery eyes, you're, you know, swaying back and forth. If you're under the influence of narcotics, your pupils may be very narrow. Uh, you may be wandering around, uh, not coherent. Specially trained DRE officers will administer the cheek swab test along with agility tests. You see people doing the finger to thumb and the finger to your nose and, you know, the alphabet. The cheek swab can detect marijuana, cocaine, heroin, even prescription drugs. Just because a doctor prescribed it to you and you go out there and you kill a family of four because you're under the influence, that's not going to get you out of what your responsibility is. I guess just we're going to have to be more cautious. Now, in a Facebook Live earlier today, I had a lot of questions about those prescription drugs. And the bottom line is, if you have a controlled substance your doctor has prescribed to you, if you've taken it and you get into a car accident, you could potentially be charged with driving under the influence. So it's very important you consult with your doctor. And when in doubt, turn over the keys. Do not drive. And one other question a lot of people are having is what if you say no to that cheek swab? Similar to the breathalyzer, you can get fined and uh, then taken into custody until they're able to get a warrant to go ahead and take that cheap swab anyway. Jennifer Ann Wilson, back to you. A lot of good information to know. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for explaining it. I take a